DD's Aquascape Epoxy is an excellent tool for bonding frags to plugs, corals to your aquascape, building your aquascape, and even repairing things like broken frag racks, feeding rings, and ornaments. Their formula is made specifically for use in aquariums, it's designed to be stickier so that it works better for bonding wet surfaces, and can also safely cure completely underwater while being non-toxic to your fish and corals. In this video, I'm gonna get you acquainted with this nifty two-part epoxy and show you how to use it. DD's two-part epoxy is currently available in two different colors, the standard slate gray, as well as coralline, so that you can choose the color that is easiest to hide in your particular reef tank. Slate gray works really well with marker rock or standard frag plugs and bases, while the coralline is great with pigmented rock, colored plugs, or in an established reef tank that has lots of coralline growth. Regardless of what color you choose, what you get in the box is basically the same. You'll get a stick of part A, a stick of part B, as well as a thorough set of instructions. Using this two-part epoxy is quite simple. I like to start by putting on a pair of disposable gloves just to keep my hands clean. First, break or cut off equal portions of part A and part B and begin mixing them together in your hands, kneading them back and forth between your fingers for five minutes until the color is consistent. Once it looks completely mixed together, continue mixing it for one more minute. After that last minute, the epoxy will be ready for use. You can apply it to a frag plug, then push the coral into the putty, or apply the putty to a crevice in your rock work and then push the coral into that crevice to mount corals throughout your reef. If you're creating an aquascape, you can place a generous ball of putty between the joints of the two rocks that you'd like to bond together, then press firmly on the rocks to spread out that putty. Just make sure to support the rocks while the putty cures. You can also add new pieces of rock to your existing reef and use the putty to bond them in place underwater. Again, just be sure to support the rocks as needed while that putty cures. The putty will be semi-hard after three to four hours and fully cures rock hard after approximately 12 hours. Once it is fully cured, this epoxy can be worked with tools, being drilled or sanded if needed, which makes it a really good option for repairs if you have damaged reefing gear or even for creating small reef safe parts for your own small DIY projects. So if you've been looking for a grippier and more versatile two-part epoxy for your reefing needs, you can check out DD's Aquascape Epoxy by clicking right here.